Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Dose. Uh, what a fun time we're having. I'm loving this video thing, man. I don't know why. Call me crazy, but I actually really, really enjoy being on the video. I enjoy doing the videos. This is a lot of fun for me. I promised you guys a really uh, a conclusion to the tools for your battle rhythm. Uh, we started talking two days ago about battle rhythm and how important it was. And then yesterday we started talking about tools and the tools that you have to establish your battle rhythm. And I told you that there was a final tool that I wanted to share with you today. And this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the final tool in your battle rhythm. And this is really the master tool. This is the master thing that if you can get this down, man, your whole world is going to change. I'm telling you, if you get this tool and you learn how to use it well, what you're going to find is you can create productivity where you thought you had no time at all. Have you ever noticed how sometimes people will ask you if you want to take a look at a business opportunity or maybe uh, a friend will you know, recommend, hey, why don't you join this gym with me? Or In other words, have you ever noticed that sometimes offers come along that might help you better your life or improve your life in some areas, but the answer is, man, I don't have any time for that. You ever felt that way? I don't have any time for that. You know what I found? I found that some of the most productive people on the planet have the exact same amount of time in every day that you and me have. <laughs> Did you ever think about that? I mean, honestly, really, you look at guys like Donald Trump, you know, he owns, God only knows how many companies and buildings, and he's building golf courses, and he's starring television shows, and he's doing news appearances, and, and how does a guy like that fit it all in? He's got the same 24 hours in every day that you and I have. Here's the difference. Donald Trump understands how to use the master tool, and the master tool is what I'm going to share with you right now. The answer is a calendar. Now, I know that sounds ridiculously simple, but trust me on this. If you have, see, we go back to having a battle rhythm. And if you, if you have a battle rhythm, then you know you're going to get in every single day the things you need to get in. You're going to know that you need to do certain things on a certain timeline. And yesterday we talked about a couple of tools for your battle rhythm, right? And some things that you're going to need to have. You're going to need to have a journal so you can write down your goals. You're going to need to have a, a weekly tracker so that you can, you can, Track those goals and know that you're on the path to achieving the things you want to achieve. But the last thing that you need is a calendar. Because I got news for you. That weekly tracker, you're not going to get to those things on that weekly tracker unless you cordon off time in your day, each and every day, to attack those things. So what I've done is, first of all, let me tell you, you can have a written calendar, like a, like a, a day planner, kind of one of those folding leather things. And that's well and good. But I'm going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend a digital calendar. Now, you've got a digital calendar in your Microsoft Outlook right there on your computer, or if you're a Mac guy, Mac comes with uh, iCal, which is their calendar program. It's wonderful. Um, and that works fantastically because any one of those kinds of programs, iCal, Outlook, even Palm, I think, still makes a calendar program. Not only will you have them on your desktop, you can also have them on your laptop, on your iPad, on your phone. Uh, I know that on my smartphone here, there's an application uh, in, in its uh, calendar application, and it literally, I don't know if you can see that, but it literally brings up the calendar. You can't see it because of the, the glare, but it brings up my calendar. And so everything that I need to get done throughout the day is right here on my calendar. And when I update it here, it updates on my home computer and my, and my office computer and my laptop and everything else. So you can get all these calendars intertwined. And if you don't know how to do it, ask a 13-year-old. They've probably already got it figured out, right? But get yourself an online calendar, and then here's what you do. You mark off those things that are important to you. You mark them off. So, for example, on my weekly tracker, on my weekly flow, I've decided there are certain things that I need to do. And I've isolated those things, right? And they're on my tracker. Did I do this today? Did I do that today? Did I do that today? But to make sure that I get to those things, I put them into my digital calendar. Now, what I've done is I've printed out my digital calendar for this week. And I don't normally print it out. I normally just use it on the computer, but I printed it out so I'd be able to just sit here and read it to you. And I want to give you an idea of how, how structured these things are. So just as an example, every morning at 6 a.m., it says right here on my calendar, there's a little event marker that says up with the alarm, morning routine, breathe, stretch, journal, and recite. What that means for me is I'm going to get up, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to stretch, I'm going to read my journal, I'm going to recite my, my uh, statement of intention, and I'm going to write my goals for the for my, my short-term, medium-term, long-term goals, my big three priorities, and then I even write down what activities I need to engage in in order to achieve those priorities, even though they're on my calendar. I write them down every morning because I want to plant them here for the remainder of the day. But then, you know, I'll also have, and these are things that are on the calendar religiously, so that's on every single morning. Sounds crazy, right? Up at the top... Uh, you see, I have shoulders and traps written here. The next day, I have legs and calves. 
The next day I have chest and, uh, and, and biceps, and then I have run, you know, as, a, as an event. I have run, which means get on the treadmill, which is right over here, by the way. Get on the treadmill and do between three and six miles, and I have that written down five days out of the week. Literally, there's an event marker five days out of the week. And then down here at the bottom, you know, I have time blocked off. So at 7 p.m. on Thursdays and Sundays, I have a presentation call for one of my companies. At 8 o'clock, uh, I have a webinar overview for a different company that I work with. Um, I also, at every single night, other than when there's webinars, I have time sectioned off from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock to work on my book. And I actually have an event on my calendar that says, Make Them Tell You No! Exclamation point, which is the title of my book. And it says one hour writing. And that's on my calendar. And then underneath that, I have Sarah and I time. My wife's name is Sarah. And that means that's the time that she and I are going to sit together and, and read or watch TV or whatever it is we want to do. And that's from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. She typically goes to bed after that. And then underneath that, I have Big Five, the new people, which means anybody that's joined my organizations. I, I, I have a thing where I put them on the board and I put them in the email and I put them in the text and the Facebook group and the Skype and I make sure that, you know, they're all plugged in, right? That's, I call that the big five. So I say big five, my new people record the daily dose, which is what I'm doing now, right? And, uh, and do my reading and do my journal. So those are the four things I do from 10 o'clock to about 1030 or so. And then I go to bed and those items are on my calendar every single day. So I don't have to remember them. I don't have to remind myself to do it. I don't have to, you know, hope that I don't forget or that I get too busy. And what you do is once you map this calendar out that way, by the way, I also have uh, PT with the Navy, physical training with the Navy on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. I have that blocked off. Um, my wife works with Top Gun Seminars. She books events for Top Gun Seminars, and she has time blocked off four days a week to make calls for Top Gun Seminars. She's got that blocked off on the calendar. You know, and then anytime we're going to do anything else, my wife wants to take the kids to the park, you know, for an hour on a Sunday afternoon. She'll go in the calendar and she'll block off three to five o'clock, take the kids to the park. And that sounds extreme, but here's what it does. It allows me to section off time for the things that are important, for the activities that are taking me towards my goal, but also it allows me to section off time for my family or something that my wife wants me to do or something that we need to do together. Or, <clears throat> for example, I'm buying a truck and tomorrow I'm going to pick up the truck. I'm, it's a truck to use to go down to Mexico. But I put in the calendar to, it's an appointment here and I, I put it here on the calendar, go sign the paperwork on the truck at two o'clock tomorrow. And, and that's an appointment for me. Now I could do it anytime tomorrow afternoon, but I've sectioned off that time. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because if you follow your calendar religiously, you'll be infinitely more productive. You'll get everything in for the day. Do you realize that if I do everything that's on my calendar and I don't skimp and I don't cheat, and, and no kidding, if I'm supposed to do write the book from 9 to 10, I write the book from 9 to 10. If I follow the calendar that way, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to spend time with my spouse. I'm going to work out. I'm going to get my book written. I'm going to get some pages of my book written. I'm going to get some prospecting done. I'm going to do a presentation, not for one of my businesses, but for both of my businesses. I'm also going to get my eight hour Navy work day in, and I'm also going to get my journaling in and my breathing and my stretching in. And I'm also going to have a chance to spend some time in the word. And I'm going to get all that in, in the 15 hours or 16 hours of consciousness that I have during the day. And what's fantastic is that if you would have asked me Five years ago, if I ever thought that I could do that much stuff in one day, I would have said, no way, no way. But see, you can. If you use the master tool, if you use the master tool for building your battle rhythm and you create a battle rhythm that you follow every day, and this is all very a very fancy way of saying time management. And the digital age has made it very easy for us to manage our time. And I promise you that if you create a battle rhythm and you follow it religiously and you follow it strictly and you do not deviate unless it's an emergency or an extenuating circumstance, you're going to find your pro productivity is going to go through the roof. And you're going to start getting results like you never thought were possible. You're going to start not only to achieve greater results in the areas of your life that you have been working on, but you're going to suddenly find time to work on all that other stuff that you didn't think you had time to work on. Guess what else you're going to find? You're going to find that you used to spend maybe three or four hours watching TV when you really didn't think it was that long, right? As soon as you start budgeting your time, like you budget your money, you realize how much of your time you waste. Just like when you start budgeting your money, you realize how much of your money you might have been wasting. So that's the master tool. Get your journal. Get your weekly tracker. Get your calendar. 
and get to work and make 2013 your very best year.